Hi, I'm Rat Rod Ricky. Welcome to another exclusive episode of Rat Rod TV. We're in Las Vegas to check out the progress on Stone's new radical over-the-top rat rod. Let's go. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Stone, he is a master metal fabricator, sculptor, and artist. Kind of a Toulouse Lautrec with a TIG MIG or a torch. Can you tell us your life story in like uh, maybe 60 seconds? Started uh, playing around with metal and just started teaching myself to weld and you know, made from the smallest piece to the stuff that I make now. Self-taught, and you do more than just chop cars rat rods and, and chop cars. Yeah. You actually do metal sculpture, and people oh yeah, commission um, you to build things for. Personally, you. like the cars and the rat rod, that's my like that's what I love. That's my passion. Um, I don't build cars necessarily for people. Um, however, I have, but it's not like my main um, source of income. I build a lot of custom metal from furniture to handrails to sculptures. Um, this is a fantastic shop you've got here. You came up from LA, right? Yeah, um, after New Orleans, I left New Orleans and then I moved to LA, was there for five years and uh, you know, it was just too fast for me, you know, I just, that and I, I <laughs> I built cars and bikes, but I hate to drive more than anything. More than anything, it's like I, I hate it more than anything. And in LA, it's like no matter what you want to do, you got to drive so far, it's setting traffic and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I'm, uh, you know, I got problems with all that stuff. So Stone might be doing a feature on Rat Rod TV when we go to the Untamed Sports Television Network, and he might be our official rat critic. We want you to send in videos or photographs of your car. We will give them to the rat critic, and when he goes on the air, he will give you tips, advice, and his opinion of what he thinks of your car that you have built. And that's going to be based basically on your design philosophy, which is a lot different than some of the other people we've talked to in terms of design yeah. philosophy. Uh, my, my philosophy really is, it is, you know, it's a personal preferences everybody says think outside the box I me I say like, think outside the box and then throw the box away <laughs> you know don't even keep the box and get even have to even go back into it so and uh, you know I'm, I'm a monster dude like I like old B movies and I love monsters and all that kind of stuff and you know it relates to my cars I want to build it like just this mean aggressive mean type monster is what it is it's a Frankenstein of a car and you know I roll with that, and um, basically that's a rat rod. It's a Frankenstein. Yeah, well, you know, people have different versions of that, but that's what it really is. I don't care what anybody else says. You know, I think it's some guys, you know, oh, it needs to be all authentic, like original parts, and you know, it looks weathered, and they call that a rat rod. It's like, you know, to me, my opinion of a rat rod is to, you know, why, why would you have a car that was that came off the line? And it just has a rustic look to it, and then you you call that like something custom. I mean, basically, what it is is somebody else, like Ford or Chevy, built it. You didn't really modify it that much, and then you just let it rust, and then you call it right, right. So the goal is to be creative. My, be my goal, yeah. My goal is like Chevy. To me, Chevy made awesome cars back in the day. I love the lines, it's sexy. However, I'm not going to roll with something like that because. This is my heart and my soul into it. I want to change it and make, you know, modifications to it to make it where it's it's my car now. It's not just Chevy. A head scratcher. Yeah, head scratcher. Monsterized. So your, your design philosophy is, if you're going to build a car, do the very best you can, be as creative as you can, yeah. think outside of the box, make it your car or a head scratcher as you would call it. Absolutely. And enter it in the shows, and that's probably one of the reasons why your group is doing the show at the Hard Rock versus at Viva because they have 
specific ideas of what they think the car should be in their show. And one thing, let me tell everybody, is that my opinion and anybody else's opinion of whether or not it's like a good car, or not a, a car, so if it's a rat rod, whatever it is, the thing is, is if you're building it, that's your car. And you should never, even like if I'd start doing some critic stuff, you know, like, you know, take it at face value. That's your car. If that's the way you want to do it, there you go. But I'm going to tell you there's different ways to do it to make it even better and make it even more your own as opposed to me sitting there dogging you. You know, it's not about that. It's about just, you know, making it more yours and not worry about what everybody else thinks. <laughs> Forty-eight three-quarter ton flatbed uh, Chevy stink bed, actually old farm truck. And you obviously chop the body <laughs> uh, yeah. more than once. Probably like six different ways. <laughs> it looks so cool. Now this car, you were talking the other day about not having a, uh, a radiator on the front. You were thinking about doing something different to cool the power plant. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people put radiators in the back, which is cool. Um, but I kind of want to put the radio somewhere where you don't even see it. Um, I'm not really sure if I can do it or not, but I'm going to try at least. Um, thinking about putting it underneath uh, the entire car. I think I have enough clearance underneath there, and um, it would just, I just want it to look like where it doesn't even look like it runs, but it does, you know? Like, uh, it's going to ha have hand brake levers, no pedal. Now, the other day we were talking about the frame, and you were saying it was sort of like a praying mantis. The whole front end was kind of different than anything you'd ever seen. And I, anything different than I've ever seen, just this, this free-floating. Yeah, it's a free-floating axle. Uh, you know, I used the, the original rear springs, flipped them and inverted them. And basically the whole front axle floats out there, kind of like, and it's got this kind of a, you know, where it comes out from where the elbows, uh, and then it has like little hands. Like a praying mantis would kind of have like this kind of a feel to it, so that's kind of like the look I, I was going for, and it seemed like it, it worked out. So you know, I take big pride in like what I do, and uh, you know, the whole thing think outside the box. I don't even have a box, I never even had one to think in. So I, I just like to do off the wall different stuff. City Ruckus at the Hard Rock Hotel, April 3rd. Yes. We're trying to hang on to that backyard barbecue feel though, you know, that, uh, and keep the prices down so everybody's uh, comfortable and they feel there. Uh, it is, well, we haven't decided a year, did we decide yeah, a year? No. Okay, so I like it. Matter. 375 roughly and or special interest cars. That's our phrase. So it's a, it's a car of special interest, I mean, this could be a brand new, this could be a 95, probably, but it's a special interest. So if it fits our parameters, we'll let you in. But we don't want to make it so broad where, you know, the tuner cars take it over. So we do want to say it's older cars as a whole, but if you brought a tuner car and it's a special interest and we agree on it, come on in. Ford, uh, the biggest thing with, uh, with us, I think, is, is more about good times and cars as opposed to uh, fashion and those little clicks of like more concerned about what, the, what they look like. We're more concerned about people that are interested in cars and it doesn't matter if it's a beach cruiser, low rider, rat rod, uh, street rod, hot rod. It doesn't matter because none of us can say, you know, we can't be this snobby about it, you know. It's Rat City Ruckus at the Hard Rock Hotel, April 3rd. Back to you, YouTube. I'm Rat Rod Ricky for Rat Rod TV, looking for rat shit.